Hello, Georgia B. Cards and Stuff here. Um, today I've got to say hello to somebody. So, Elliot, if you're watching this, hi. Hope that's cheery enough for you. Um, today I'm going to show you how I made this card. It is a quick, easy way to use up your scraps um, card. There is no stamping in this because I've used a sentiment that I heat embossed. Um, on one card last week from this stamp set, many messages, and I got loads of them left over, as you can see here. It's quite a few which I will use. I've also done some in black with white embossing, so we're going to use them or one of them. In fact, it's the same, yeah, it's the same sentiment in gold as I did a few. I have to find somewhere better to store them instead of a plastic bag that's ripped. So, I'm not going to be doing this again. Like I said, I've got plenty, but I thought I'd show you the stamp set. And it does have a die. Um, I've kept this cut out bit for in case I want to just stamp one message which I will show you another time. Right, um, to make this I have got a card blank. This is basic white cardstock of Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. Piece of basic white uh, for the top layer, and this is three and three quarters. I think I've done it smaller, yeah. Three and three quarters by five and a half. I just wanted a bigger board around it. No, I didn't, because I've got a bit of gold, which is five and five. Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and this goes on top like that. Right, I've also got lots of pieces of gold foil card. This one's two and five eighths by two and five eighths, so that will make this one two and a half by two and a half. Then I have another piece at two and one eighth by two and one eighth and then a bit of DSP at two by two I have another one at one and five eighths by one and five eighths so I have a bit of DSP at one and a half by one and a half and then I have another piece that's one and one eighth by one and one eighth and a piece of DSP by one, one by one. And then I have my last piece, which is a bit smaller. I think this is an inch. It is. This is one inch by one inch square. And a piece of DSP at seven eighths by seven eighths. And then, of course, this sentiment, which says, Hooray, it's your birthday. The DSP I've used is all um, the ink colours that are retiring. So I've got Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose and Purple Posy. I've used them three again. So let's... All we've got to do is glue all this together and stick it on dimensionals. So, got my glue. Hopefully, it's not blocked. And we're going to glue this. It's been a while since I've made some cards. On to our gold piece. Right, 
and then we'll glue this onto our card base. That's our card base done. Right, now then all we've got to do is glue all these papers onto our foil card. This is a great way to use up retiring papers. I got this idea from uh, YouTube, I don't know what channel it was, um, she actually did it, she wasn't a, it wasn't a Stampin' Up! person, she used a paper pad for her papers, um, she actually did it by inlayering the things, squares, on her card but my square dies are not close enough to do this because it leaves they leave a too big a border so I thought I would do it with them on top and I think it just works out just the same I mean, you can make one of these for a male, just use darker colours. them all stuck down. Now we're going to use dimensionals to add them onto the card. Right, I have got a load of thin strips here which I'm going to use. I actually got these off Amazon. You get 500 strips for about 5 99 I think they were. Which I thought it was a bargain. I actually bought them because I want to make a shaker card. I've never made a shaker card before. And I thought, oh, I'll get some of them. So I can make a shaker card. I actually put, went to the range. I've had my first day out from lockdown for absolutely ages well not lockdown shielding first thing I did I had to go and get my second COVID injection so that's all done and then I went to the range and got some card blanks my normal ones What else did I do? Well, that was all on my first day out. I've got plenty of card blanks now. this one I am going to put down with the pattern on the paper all going the same way 
I have got, um, I think it's diamonds. This one's diamonds. The one I made first was the rounded tiles. Oh, ice cream man. Been here nine years and I still don't know where that ice cream man stops. <laughs> right. I'll take off all the backings. And I'm going to place the big one down first. And we're going to place it to the right in the middle. Is that the middle? There we are. Then the next biggest one, which is this one. Ah, I should have put this one down first. Well, done this all wrong. Put on all these um what are they called? Dimensional strips, foam strips. And I need to take some off. Right, this one. There. Right, this one needs that bit off. And a bit of that. That's it. And then we'll glue this corner. this size that will go there on top so I need to take off some of this one and this one Right, that one will go there nicely. Take off the back ends of these. So don't do what I did. Don't stick all your dimensionals on until you know where they're going to go. Bring that down a little bit. Right, also want to put on a bit of glue there. And then this one is going to go up here. So obviously we need to take off this one. Not a sit there, so take this off. Put some glue on there. And I want it hanging over just a little bit. And this little one will go there. And of course I've got to take this off. Add some glue. Get 
rid of all my rubbish in a minute. Right, and then the sentiment we'll put there. So I only need a little bit of dimensional just there, which I will use a bit of that. And then glue this bit. There was a card last week with me doing all these um, sentiments where I embossed and cut out the sentiments so if you can go back to that card you'll see what I did and that is an easy way of using up some scraps and making a pretty card just going to add some dimensionals. We're going to put one up here, one there, and one there. So, put a demo. Did I say dimensionals? I meant gems. I've got these little gold gems. And that is my card. I didn't do nothing inside yet. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And that one's not very straight. Don't forget to put them on a little bit straighter. That one's not very straight. I'll sort that out. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Well, like I say, thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Elliot.